Hello and welcome back to Purple Collar Life. I'm Chad. I've actually been traveling the last two weeks. I've been in Chicago and Indianapolis. And when I came home, look what happened. A major change here. We've gone from summer to fall pretty quickly. You can see there's a lot of leaves on the ground and I like to get these taken care of so that they don't accumulate over top of the grass. It gets harder to clean them up. Now there are a couple tools we have to take care of these leaves. The problem is it's been raining a couple days. I look at the forecast and it's going to rain for the foreseeable future, five or six days. And I don't want to let more leaves accumulate on top of these wet leaves. So today's video is about the best way to take care of wet leaves when you don't have time to let them dry out. So let's talk about our options. Okay, so obviously one option is a rake. A rake does fine on wet leaves. Again, it's not as easy as raking up dry leaves, but it'll get the job done. If you're low on time though, it's not super efficient. It's quite a workout. You're gonna to wanna to put these on, rake them onto a tarp or something and drag them into the woods. So you're not getting much area done very quickly. It's nice to spend the time outside, but as you know, the days are getting shorter. It gets darker earlier. And after work on days like today, I just don't have time to do all this raking or quite frankly, the energy. Another option is a blower. This is our Steel BG55 handheld blower. We've had it for a number of years probably 10 years or so. And this was the first blower we ever had. Like I said, we used it for probably eight years as our only blower, and it does a nice job. But on wet leaves, it takes a lot of time because they're harder to push. Let's see how it works. All right, that's acceptable and definitely better than raking. So option number one for wet leaves, handheld blower. Okay, definitely a better option than the handheld blower is the backpack blower. We got this one a couple years ago. As you can see, this is the BR800X. This thing has changed our fall lives. Um, way easier to take care of leaves. We've taken this to Jennifer's parents, my parents. We use it at the cemetery we mow, and of course we use it here at home. Let's see how it does. It'll get you wet if you blow the leaves above your head. This thing is amazing. It does a tremendous job on dry leaves and you can see it actually does pretty good on the wet leaves too. But it does take longer with the wet leaves. I like to blow them over to the woods. It's gonna take me quite a while to do that. Now some of you have seen previous videos where I talk about not even needing the mulch when you've got the Toro Time Cutter because it chops the leaves up pretty decent, blows them out pretty far. I can blow them towards the woods just making my you know, rows aiming towards the woods each time. The problem is when they're wet like this, they don't chop up as well. They don't blow as far. So it's harder with the Time Cutter to do this, A, when it's raining out like it is today, and B, when the leaves are wet and they're gonna continue to be wet as I'm working on them. A couple years ago, we did a video about using a John Deere tractor in the mow and vac system. That thing does great, especially when the leaves are dry, but also works great when they're wet because the leaves don't have to lift super high off the ground. The vacuum can suck them out of the mower deck. They accumulate in that trailer. You can haul them away. It's a great system. I think they are a little bit pricey, but great system if you have that option. Now, I haven't had the mower deck on the John Deere in about two years because I do all my mowing with the zero turn, the Toro time cutter. It's nice not to have the deck on the machine. I leave the loader on it all the time for my forks, my bucket, my grapple. It's just easier not to transition from mowing to work with the tractor. So the zero turn has been my primary mowing machine for a couple years, but when the leaves are wet like this, I'm limited on time. The time cutter doesn't do a great job. The handheld blower takes forever. The backpack blower does a nice job, but again, it's gonna take forever to get them to the woods. The mulching kit on my John Deere Edge 62 deck does the best job on wet leaves. So if I'm dealing with wet leaves, don't have time for them to dry out, have to get this done, can't let them accumulate, I'll take the time to put the mower deck on and mulch these up into tiny pieces. 
you'll see what a great job the tractor with the mulching deck does. And that's why I wouldn't say this is no longer a mowing machine just because of days like today. Let's see how she does. Another really nice thing is that when it's raining like it is right now, the Curtis cab will keep me dry and warm. So here's a little bit of kind of like a before, all those eaves on the ground and after. Pretty minced up here even though they're wet. So we will actually go over this a second time. It'll mince them up a little bit more, but you can see that's way better than all the grass covered up with the leaves in their entirety. Again, not as great as blowing it if they were dry, but in the wet, this is our best solution. Let's keep at it. And in case you were wondering, those leaves are all just from one tree that one maple here in the middle of our backyard. Now in case you're wondering what my settings are at, I have my deck height at four. I've got the roller wheels set at four holes down above the deck. So one, two, three, four. My pin's actually in the fifth hole. I do have the mulching kit on the edge deck. I am mowing in low range. I leave the RPMs low, start my PTO, and then I ramp up. Low range. Nothing comes out the chute because of the mulch kit being on the deck. So here's our results around this maple tree. I think pretty incredible. If you remember back to all those leaves totally covering the grass, you couldn't even see grass. We do have a lot of minced up leaves here, but I think it looks great. And again, you know, I, I've tried a lot of things. I've lived here for 20 some years and I, I've tried you know, the handheld blower, the backpack blower, the Toro Zero Turn. In most cases, those options are great, but when it's raining and when the leaves are wet, this I've found to be the best solution. John Deere 2210 with the Edge 62 mower deck and the mulching kit on it. Bonus points for the heated cab. 
As always, we hope this video informed or entertained you in some way. Thank you so much for coming and watching today. So I found that, you know, the, the deck with the mulching kit, super handy to have around for situations like this. I know that before I bought this miller, I had never used a mulching kit before, had always either blown the leaves or raked the leaves or just tried to blow them with the miller deck. The mulching kit makes a huge difference at chipping up those leaves and letting them, you know, provide future soil. It actually improves the quality of the dirt underneath your grass. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again the next time here on Purple Collar Life.